everyone i hope and trust that you've been keeping well by god's grace god is good all the time today i wanted to share my thoughts to my brothers and sisters in christ also to anyone else who cares to watch because i will be talking about jesus and that is the good news i've been reminded of Jesus's prayer just before he was crucified he prayed for the disciples I just want to read uh, John 17 verse 20 to 21 Jesus said my prayer is not for them alone I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message 21 that all of them may be one father just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. This was Jesus' heart just before he was crucified, as he was praying for the disciples and also praying for us believers who, who were later to believe in the gospel. Jesus said that the disciples needed to be united and that we also need to be united. And when we are united, when we are one, Jesus says the world will believe in him. So this is really, really important considering the, dis the divisions which are currently happening. Jesus says it's important that we get united, that we are one, because when we are one, the world will look at us and believe in him. You and I, my brothers and sisters, we are Christ ambassadors. Our job is to preach the good news. Our job is to share Christ with the dying world. Our job is to say there is hope, is to talk about Christ in us, the hope of glory, because this world is not our home. We're only here, but for a season. So it's important how we treat each other. It's important how we view each other. Jesus says, not only is it a good thing to be united, but when we are united, just as he is in the Father, he was in the Father and the Father in him, the world will look at us united as believers and believe in Jesus. So it's very crucial that we have that unity. In the book of Acts, it says they were in the upper room, in one heart, in one accord, and the Holy Spirit fell on them. And when they uh, preached about Jesus, when they shared about Jesus, they were added daily. The number was added daily because they could see them, that there was something or there was someone who was uniting them. So we are praying for revival right now. We are believing for a harvest of souls. It's important that we get united so that the world will believe in Jesus Christ. We are warned not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And he comes to divide us as well. We are stronger together. We need to submit to the love of Christ, all of us. We should love the way we are supposed to love. In the book of Romans, we are told that the love of Christ is shed in our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for a revelation of love, to love the way we are supposed to love, to love each other the way we are meant to, in a way that pleases God. One day, Jesus looked at the crowd, and it says that, he had compassion for them and he told the disciples that the harvest is plentiful 
but the laborers are few. I'm just wondering, my brothers and sisters, if we continue to divide ourselves, are we not further separating the number of laborers which are needed? But if we unite, we are stronger together and we can achieve more together. Because I truly believe in revival. I truly believe that there is a harvest that is coming. And in the book of Romans, we are encouraged to put on Christ. Let's lay everything aside. Get a revelation of love and put on Christ. I should look at you, my brother, my sister, and see Christ in you. You should look at me and see Christ in me. The world should look at us and see Christ in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. It's important for us to be united. It's important to God. It's important to Jesus. We cannot afford to be divided any further, whether it's according to race, according to gender, or whatever it is. Let's submit ourselves to the truth of God. Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, he will lead you into all truth and he will show you all that is to come. We all have a responsibility to humble ourselves to that truth and to pray for discernment. To pray for discernment. There are people, you know, who have been sharing their heart out and what they believe is supposed to be the solution I think we have to pray for wisdom, for guidance, for discernment, to discern what is truth and what is not. We should all submit to the truth which is coming from God. And if we humble ourselves, if we ask the Holy Spirit, we will all be led to the truth of God. I am excited because Jesus said he is building his church and the gates of hell will not prevail. That gives me hope. But I also want to encourage you, my brother and my sister, that we need to be united before the revival comes. And I know it is coming because when we are united, the world will believe in Jesus Christ. That was his prayer. That was his heart. God bless you.